Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and welcome. So today I want to show you guys how I do my Rudolph reindeer doll. And this is my Junkie Grungy Grammy doll series that um, I have a playlist on the end screen that you guys can come check out. It uh, shows a step by step how I get to this point of putting the whole doll together, doing the mouth and the eyes and how I put the nose together and the hair and, you know, the whole body and stuff. So it just shows you in detailed um, different playlists uh, or different videos in that playlist. So you guys can come check it out or this video would just be super long. So I want to show you guys some stuff that we are going to need to put this little doll together. And the pattern for her will be down below in the description box if you guys want to come purchase it and follow along. And I'd really appreciate it. I think um, it's a fun little project to do for Christmas and a great little stocking stuffers. And or you could put them in the tree. You can just set her in the tree and stuff. I mean, it's just super cute. And some of the stuff that we will need is yarn. So and then some of the things I will have in my Amazon links down below. So you guys can come check it out. And then some of the other stuff I just got from uh, like a craft store and stuff. So uh, this is my homespun Lion Brand yarn, which I love to do for their hair. I have a pipe cleaner. I have just my little fabrics that I did the legs and stuff out of all the little fabrics. And I do have um, the fabric link down below. It comes with 42 which is super cute. It comes with 42 uh, different kinds of fabrics. And I thought it was going to be cotton fabric, but it's more of a, like a, a slippery. I, I have no idea what kind of fabric it is, but it's not cotton. It's like more of a, um, I have like a kite fabric kind of in a weird way, but uh, it works great as long as you catch the frays because it does fray a little bit. So I just take my ribbon. I just take the ribbon here. Just whatever ribbon you got hanging around and i just make sure to glue it around the little edges and stuff and that keeps it from fraying it works really good okay so um and then i got some felt which i'll put in the links because i have different kinds of felts i have my tube turners which are amazing to use for like the little arms and legs and stuff so i got the fabric tube turners i have some embroidery scissors some hemostats um which is great for stuffing to do with your fiber fill. I have fiber fill. Um, I just have some bronzer or blush. Anything out of your makeup kit will work great for their little cheeks. And um, just a little Q-tip just to do their little cheeks. Uh, embroidery floss, buttons, cute, just whatever buttons. And I do have a tons of different kinds of buttons that I've ordered off of Amazon, and they're all really fun to play with. So I got those. Uh, my Fabric Fix glue with the sugar, sweet sugar barrel belt icing um, container. And this little metal tip is really nice to have. So I have all that in my links. Uh, this is just some thread, just whatever thread you have, like to do their nose and stuff like that. Uh, fabric scissors, a gel pen I use to draw out all the, uh, just the pattern and stuff. I just use a gel pen to draw. And like I showed you, ribbon and some of these little balls are great for the nose. So I'll show you guys how I put the nose on. Um, and then this is buckwheat holes is what they're called. And you can see that I just put them into the bottom half of the body, just about an inch or so, just for texture. It doesn't really help her sit up or anything, but it's kind of fun when you you're like, oh, what is that, rice? And you're like, wait, what is that? So it's kind of fun. Just a fun little texture I like to add. And, of course, a needle, any kind of needle that you have will work great. And I think that's pretty much it of everything that you will need. So let me clean this up and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I went ahead and I traced around the antlers. And then I just did a back stitch sewed all the way around and did another little back stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one. And then I'm going to cut about an eighth of an inch just all the way around the antlers. So 
So I went ahead and got my antlers cut out. Now let's go ahead and we'll glue our nose on. So I just cut one of the little balls off. Got my Fabric Fix glue. Nose on, you can hold it down. And anything I'm using for Fabric Fix glue, you can use a hot glue gun, of course. I just prefer the Fabric Fix glue in most of my projects. Nose on. And I want to show you guys how I put the legs inside of her pants. And I did the same thing with the arms. So before I put her little uh, jammy top on, I go ahead and slide the arms in using the hemostat and then I just do a dot of glue on each side just to secure her arms in there before I put her little top on. So I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, little jammy bottoms. I just take my hemostat and slide up the little legs all the way up as far as I want her little socks to show and then I just glue at the top up here. So now if you think her legs are too long for this pattern you can go ahead and just snip it a little bit. That's what I like to do on this pattern, but um, I like to give you guys the option of how long you want them. So I'll just cut off about, about a half inch or so. They don't need to be that long. And then when I slide them up into the pants here, her little feet will stick out and then I'll just glue it like right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. I went ahead and just took my hemostats and slid the legs up where I wanted them and did a little dab of Fabrifix glue on either side on the inside here. Those aren't going anywhere. So I'm gonna fold the shirt up and slip her pants on and do a little gluing hold these up so you can squish her. Just take a little bit of glue around the waistband here. Glue where you want her pants to stay, your little jammies. Make sure I got it glued everywhere I want it. And those aren't going to fall off. And that's why her shirt is long. So you can go ahead and pull this down. Come along nicely. Super cute. And she will be uh, in my Etsy links down below for purchasing if you guys wanted to come check her out along with um, some other dolls that I've been making. I got all their links down below. If you guys want to help support my little shop and you can have some fun little dolls. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. That really does help get my video out there further for others to see how to make this fun little Rudolph doll. So now the thing I want to show you guys is how to put her cute little antlers on. So I got my pipe here, pipe cleaner. So I'm just going to kind of fold it around a little, see how I want it to fit on her head. 
about here. About there. So it's like a little headband. Do not use your fabric scissors. I wouldn't recommend it because it has a little metal piece in there and you don't want to mess up your fabric scissors. So I just use my paper scissors or my other scissors that are not for fabric. And then I just form it. So much fun. Take it go down just a little bit and fold it under. Fold it like that. And just take your glue. So we glue it right onto the pipe cleaner. What I like to do, and take your little clips here, and I think I have those in the links below too, these little clips come in really handy. Okay, and then see about where you want the other one, just kind of line up the bottom parts, Let's see if it's about the same distance here, what about an inch and a half. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the fun thing about these dolls is that they are whims whimsical and the pattern that you will print off will not be perfectly drawn. It's all hand drawn by me. So it's just whimsical and there's no written instructions. That's why I make the videos so you guys can print them off and then come follow along with my video. And it shows you, I show you step by step on how to do them. So it's pretty fun. It's more of an interactive kind of pattern. I think I'll just go ahead and clip this one, clip it, and then put it on her head and see if that's where we like it. That's why I like to use the Fabrifix glue, because if I did a hot glue gun right now, it'd be permanent. You know, I would, it'd be harder to get it off. So at least right now I got a little bit of time. So I kind of line it up on, on her little head here. I think that looks cute. I think that, that's about where I want them. But if you wanted to switch it up, you know, you can undo it and slide it real quick and just get it to where you want it. So while this is sitting over to the side, let me grab her little Merry Christmas wreath that we can sew to her little hands. So I'll be right back. So I got my little Merry Christmas wreath here. And I did not make these. I got them on Amazon already made. So I will put that link down below and you guys can come check out these cute little handmade little wreaths. I think they're so much fun. So what I do is I go up her sleeve a little bit. I got my embroidery floss, two strands and a needle. And I start up top here, pop it through her hand on the inside of her hand. And then you can hide that knot. Just go ahead and hide her knot, the knot up in the sleeve here. You will see it. And we just do it on the inside of her hand, and we're just going to go around on the inside of the wreath. Like and sew it to her hand. About through the same hole here. Pull it snug and tie it off. That easy. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. That is so cute. She's holding a little Merry Christmas wreath with a little bell, a little bell on it. So I think that's super cute. Okay, so now let's go ahead and glue her antlers on top of her head. <laughs> These are so fun. 
Okay. So these, and I think they should be pretty set up here. Do is just take my glue. Bring it all around. Too messy. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys. I like because you know when you cut the pipe cleaner, it keeps kind of coming apart. I like to do just a dab of glue at the end of it. Just so it won't keep fraying. And that's just a preference if you want to do that. Okay. You can open it up a little bit. On it. Oh, yeah. And add the rest of the glue here. Once this glue grabs on, it does a pretty, really good, really good hold. Put in the place. And it is as easy as that, guys. So there we go. We did it. I think she turned out super, super cute. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share. And let's grow together. And keep on crafting.